Hi everybody, welcome to another craptacular episode of Spot the Liberal. What the hell is that supposed to mean, buddy? The hell do you mean what's that supposed to mean? We're five episodes in this mother... Okay, calm down, you two. We're just reviewing 20 of the most ridiculous business names ever, according to Money Talks News. That's really all it is. Great, now let's get this thing started, shall we? Seriously, let's get it started. A now for a list of WTF moments from 20 examples of sheer awkwardity. That's not even a damn word, you moron! First on our list is a place called Sam and Ella's Pizzas and Subs. All right, man, say that three times fast. Sam and Ella's Pizzas and Subs. Sam and Ella's Pizzas and Subs. Sam and Ella's Pizzas and Subs. <laughs> What's so funny? You said salmonella. Just the name of that damn place makes people sick. It makes me want to throw up. Hey, here's a name that most coffee shops share. Jitters. Or in this case, it's more like titty. We're not talking about sex, dude. We're talking about coffee shops. Anyway, as they've mentioned, Jitters is a popular name for a coffee shop. But jitters are also an unpleasant side effect of too much caffeine, which is what I have when I have too much sugar in my bloodstream and I don't take my morning medication. I'm assuming you guys know what that kind of medication is, but who the heck cares? Or whatever, one. Did you know that the slang expression going postal refers to workplace rage that results in gun violence? It was popular back in the 1980s and 90s. But there's a new company that founded in 2002 called Going Postal. And according to its website, it has hundreds of locations in the United States. Crikey! Hello, God. It's me. If you're listening to this right now, I didn't mean to actually... I didn't really mean to impersonate one of your angels, notably Steve Irwin. I'm sure he's watching that back down here or back up there or whatever, but I just want you to know that I'm just paying tribute to him. Thank you. Who would have thought that a name like Going Postal would become so popular as an organization? Holy crap! Now, here's a name that might interest you. Pass more gas and propane. 1-800-345-85. Don't let your kids watch it. Or listen to it whenever it comes first. Just the name of the propane business itself calls for a series of memes. Or memes, or whatever the heck they're called. Hey, guys, look at this. Am I going home? Amagon Funeral Home. That must be one of those morgues or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just guessing here. I think that's a funeral question that they hear a lot at this place. But what do I know? Oh, they'll be fine. They're dead. No phone explosion reference. I hope that's all right with you, Brendan Small. I'm just doing this for fair use. Welcome to the Tequila Mockingbird. Where you can have a cantina and some mockingbirds with your meal as well as fried chicken and stuff. Mockingbirds fried in the oven? What are you, a cannibal? You must be out of your dang mind. The name does sound familiar to the title of a book written by the late great Harper Lee. That's to kill a mockingbird, by the way. Yeah, no shit, smartass. Hey, man, look at this. Toyota Privia. What the hell is that? Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? Voice break. Seriously, though, voice break. I mean, why the hell would Toyota do this? 
Jesus Christ! Hey, here's one for you. It's got a lot of sexual innuendo in it. Chew and butts. I know you've told me this already. Hey, we got a damn kid here. He's five. He ain't supposed to be hearing that sh- Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. I mean, hell, they could've used Joe's tobacco shop and it went have stuck like that. By the way, folks, I am not making these names up. These are actual names of actual businesses that were actually formed by real people. So it's not scripted? Absolutely not. So all these people that came up with the names of these businesses, they're all liberals, aren't they? Well, as we've seen throughout the list, most of these people are liberals, but some gave that intention because of their unfortunate failures as a result of their unfortunate business names. They were intending their businesses to be a success once they named them and founded them, but that didn't happen, obviously. I, I what is, what is that, man? Stubs, prosthetics, and orthotics. That sounds like something stupid. To me, it sounds more like a freaking ER hospital than anything else. Just ask John Stamos. And now here's a business that apparently didn't know how to set up an internet address. AmericanScrapMail.com Except every time you look up the new URL for the name online, you get something that's... Supposed to be exactly that, but it's really just a knockoff of what was supposed to be exactly that. And you ain't just Miss Lick Dixie! Okay. Now here's a business that deserves to be sued for copyright infringement. Spruce Spring Clean. What the frick is this? Why hasn't Bruce Springsteen sung this, sued this business yet? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Sue. Good thing you corrected yourself when you did. Thanks, man. Hey, why don't you curl up and die? Not me. I'm a giant and I could easily eat you since you're much shorter than I am. No, no, no. I mean, there's a restaurant. I mean, a salon called Curl Up and Die Salon. They have that special... What's that damn thing called? It's, it's a hair cutter, except it's... It's, it's a digital hair color, a hair cutter that, uh, it, it's compatible with your entire scalp, and you just have to see the clip from Tosh.0 to understand it, because I don't give a sh about things like that. I'm sure many people's scalps have been completely destroyed by that salon. Hey, you ever heard of that famous Broadway musical Fiddler on the Roof? Uh, no. I've never seen it. I don't care for movies. Well, there's actually a business called Fiddler on the Tube. Hey, I know that business. It's owned by a woman named Fiddler. That's her last name, isn't it? I would think so, but it's anyone's guess to me. Either way, ain't nobody got time for that sh- Wait, what? Why the hell would I want someone fiddling on my tooth for? I ain't got time, man. Hey, man, here's another site that apparently failed to show as an official business's website, man. Check this. ChooseSpain.net When you look that up, you're supposed to see the official business site for actual business. But instead, you get something that's selling merchandise or whatever the. Ah! Gay Milo! And we had breaking news for whatever reason because the Hindenburg has officially fallen to the ground and exploded. All the humanity! Yeah, but did you know there's a place called the Hindenburger? No, not really. What's it all about? It's a burger joint, dumbass. A burger joint? Why the hell would a business name their own business after a natural disaster? 
Wait, I'm sorry. Air disaster. It was an air disaster. Me, shut up, fool. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to go to Titanic? We have breaking news coming from you to the local theater. The Titanic has sunk and more than 15 or 1600 people have drowned as a result of the sinking of the seemingly unsinkable Titanic. Why the hell would someone want to name their business after the sinking of a ship back in 1912? I mean, come on! Clearly these people were liberals. No, but they did infringe on copyright. The accident has been declared in the public domain! It was over a hundred years ago! Ugh, never mind. And down the list we go, onto the list of WTF no mods for unfortunate business names. It's Democrat o'clock, everybody! What the hell do you mean by that? There was a business called A Salt and Battery Fish and Chips. Oh, that's the restaurant I go to to get more fish and chips. On balls for you, Thomas. What are you playing at now? Uh, nothing, sir. Just doing my job, like you said. <laughs> does, does that make any sense, sir? Absolutely. That makes perfect sense. Now let's go somewhere else. You got it, sir. By the way, did you catch the Thomas and Friends reference? What about the Christopher and... W. Audrey reference. I'm sorry, Christopher Audrey and the Reverend W. Audrey. I believe that's what you meant to say. Yes, I did, Fat Controller. Thank you for correcting me. Anyway, we got another stupid Middle Eastern food restaurant in Australia called Just... Wait for it. Follows. Good mood food! I think that's a pun on the term just for laughs. That was also a short-lived kids show on the Disney Channel, wasn't it? If that's what Wikipedia says, then it's gotta be true. I mean, then again, nobody in Australia is a liberal because they're all peace lovers. They don't allow themselves to own a gun. They get along perfectly over there and there's hardly anything violent going on, except for terrorist activity. But all these insects and bugs out there are freaking bigger than me! All right, guys, just get along with it. We got two more of these fuckers to go. Uh, all right. Hey, check out this business called Little Hope Cemetery. What? What's the matter? You offended by that? I'm not going to that damn cemetery when I die. Neither am I. Me neither, and you can bet your ass on that. My mother and father were buried there. If that's the case, I want to be buried next to them. What? what? <laughs> your mother and father were buried in Little Home Cemetery? You gotta be shitting me, man. What? Say that again, I dare you. Say that again, I'll cut you. Hey, isn't that the name of a hair studio? Uh... Yes. Then your threat don't work on any of us. Oh my god. I think I just lost a couple million brain cells just listening to you guys talk about stupidly named businesses. Anyway, that's all for now. Later. See you later, buddy. Go the heck home. Go.